Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, engineering mechanics in the topic of moment of inertia. So the problem is to find out the moment of inertia about uh, horizontal axis and vertical axis passing through the centroid of the section shown in figure. So the figure is I section. So in that I section, so uh, there is a symmetrical about Y axis, but non symmetrical about X axis. So this is Y axis and this is X axis. So this is symmetrical about the Y axis, uh, but uh, if you uh, take uh, in X axis, there is not uh, unsymmetrical. So now we have to find out the moment of inertia about the horizontal axis. So now we take the solution. So the given figure is uh, symmetrical about uh, y axis. We already said uh, that the centroid axis y coincides with the reference y axis. Hence x bar equal to 0. Now uh, the moment of inertia about x x axis equal to uh, i i11 equal to i x plus a y square. So that is a summation of uh, i x plus summation of a y square. So now we have to find out the uh, individual area uh, in the three components. So there are uh, three components are there. So the first one is uh, so this triangle. So this rectangle is uh, one component. The second one is uh, this one. So then third one is uh, this one. Okay. So now we can uh, find out the area y and ay and ay square and ix and y. I y so everything we, we have to find out the separately after that we can apply in the formula we can get the moment of inertia so now we can take the uh, table so first one is uh, the component second one is area uh, then in mm square then y value then uh, the central distance then uh, a y value so the area into uh, central distance then a y square so there is the area into central distance square so that is in mm power 4 uh, then uh, i x in mm power 4 that is a b d cube divided by 12 and the i y uh, d b cube divided by 12 this is the formula for the rectangle so now we can uh, uh, now we can take the first component so in that first component so in that first component so we we can take the distance the central distance over here so now uh, the area uh, area of 1 equal to uh, so the 400 into 50 there is a area so there is a b into d so that is the area equal to uh, 400 into 50 so then uh, y distance that is the central distance so central distance from one one value so that's why we can take the 75 centimeter up to this uh, then we can take the 600 so this is 75 then 600 uh, then uh, after that uh, we can take the half the distance so that is 50 divided by 2 so now 75 plus 600 plus 50 divided by 2 so this is the central distance so that's a value so now uh, here also we can uh, take 75 plus 600 plus 50 divided by 2 so the total value is 700 so then a y value so the area is uh, 20,000 into uh, the y value is 700 so we can multiply so now we get that 14 into 10 power 6 so then a y square so we can uh, we can take the a into y square so the y square value is uh, 7 uh, 700 square so now so the area is uh, 20,000 into uh, 700 square so we got the value of 9.8 into 10 power 9 so now uh, the i x values that is a uh, b d cube b d cube divided by 12 so the now the b value is 400 so the b value is uh, here the 400 and d value is uh, 50 so now uh, 400 into 50 square divided by sorry 50 cube divided by 12 so then uh, take i y value so i y i y value is uh, uh, b cube d divided by 12 so now the 50 into b cube that is 400 cube divided by 12 so we can get all the values in the first component so second component we can take uh, here so this is the second component and likewise we can find out third component also so for the second component uh, the area is 50 into 600 uh, and y y value is uh, 75 plus 600 by 2 because the central distance uh, for the central distance over here so this 700 and uh, this 600 divided by 2 so here 75 so over here so 75 plus 600 divided by 2 this is a uh, central distance value so 75 plus uh, 75 plus 600 divided by 2 so we get a value of uh, 375 
so then uh, we can find out uh, likewise we can find out the a y value then uh, that is uh, 11.25 into 10 power 6 then a y square value 4.219 into 10 power 9 uh, then i x value so again the b d cube divided by 12 so the value is uh, 900 into 10 power 6 then uh, d b cube divided by 12 that is the value is uh, we got uh, 6 lakhs and 25 sorry uh, 62 lakhs and 50,000 mm, so we got the value so uh, likewise we can uh, calculate the the third component also so in third component the areas are 275 that is 15,000 uh, then uh, the central distance is 75 divided by 2 equal to 37.5 mm, then a y value so we can multiply the area into y uh, and after that we can multiply area into y square so we uh, we got all the values so, so summation uh, so we can uh, add all those values we get the final answer so now we can uh, we can substitute y bar equal to e a y so that is summation of a y divided by summation of a so that is uh, summation of a y we got uh, 25.812 into 10 power 6 divided by the a uh, the total area equal to 65000 so we got the value of uh, 397.108 mm so after that we can substitute uh, in the formula i11 so this is a section uh, we can take one one section over here so from from that uh, we can take uh, we can calculate so uh, i11 equal to ix plus a y a bar a y bar square so from that uh, we got the value of uh, 1.495 into 10 power 10 uh, mm power 4 so we have to find out the ix value so for ix value we have to find out so the a y square go in that uh, that side so uh, that uh, that will make uh, opposite sign so now uh, the ix equal to i11 minus a y square so we can we know all the values uh, we can substitute all the values over here so 1.495 into 10 power 10 minus uh, the area value 65,000 into uh, the y uh, bar square equal to 397.108 square so finally we got the value of uh, uh, 4.691 into 10 power 9 mm power 4 so this is the uh, moment of inertia so after that uh, when the moment of inertia is required on the symmetrical axis then i y equal to e into summation of uh, i y bar so that the value is uh, 329 216 and 666.7 mm power 4 so this is a method we can solve the problem in uh, engineering mechanics again we will see in next video thank you